in this video we will see some basics of sql i am planning to have at least four parts of this video in which we will discuss about the basics of sql then we will have another series of videos which will discuss on the advanced sql concepts and the third series would be some dba level performance tuning and we will see how we can manage the database performance using those commands so as i said this is the first video of the basics of sql we will we'll start creating few tables so a relational database stores data in tables which is in form of rows and columns the query or the language to retrieve data from the tables is sql sql is structured query language structured query language so sql is structured query language in this example today i have logged on using oracle sql plus in the database and if you need help installing oracle please feel free to contact at this email bhartiyuconsultancy@gmail.com so this is the statement to create a table that means to build to create or to lay down a table in the database it's create table emp and this will have employee number which is a data type number employee name with the data type varchar varchar is character string department is also a string which is varchar and varchar is like a text we'll discuss about data types later salary is a number with 7 as the gets before decimal and two decimal places and bonus is also a number so let's create this table and see how it does create the table so on the sql plus we write this create table command and once you press enter the table is created in order to query the we will use a select command so select star from the table the syntax is the syntax is select star star means all the columns from emp table and right now we do not have any records or data in the table there is description describe describe command d e s c which is describe the table i am telling oracle to list the columns which exist in this table and also to tell me data types and you can see you have these columns and these many data types now let's put some records in this table and to insert records the command starts with insert simple you want to insert records use insert command to insert values in a table this is the syntax you have to write insert in table name the all column names for which you want to insert values and then the keyword values and the actual values you want to insert so that 
So I am going to insert record in the table. So I said insert into EMP, which is the table name. All the columns, you can see the order of the columns. You don't have to be necessarily writing the order of the columns same, but it's always good. Values, the values which I want to insert and 100 Sachin Tendulkar IT 12,000 as salary and 200 as bonus. Now I want to read the record. To read the record, we'll use again the command select star from E. Oops. So select star from EMP gives employee number as 100, employee name as Sachin Tendulkar, department at IT, salary 12,000 and bonus. And if you look at it, this insert statement also wanted to have these values inserted in the table. Let's wait to insert record in the table. I have this statement. Do not want to mention the number of or of the columns. I can just say insert into e values. You see, so insert into values EMP. This value, which is 200, Rahul Ravid, I and all. And if I say select star from EMP. You can see two records now. So, in this, we have added a table and two records. One important thing to note here is, folks, there is there is a command known as commit. So, once you insert values in a table, you have to use commit so that it permanently commits or permanently stores those records in the table and if I say select star from EMP those two records would be displayed. Even if I close the session like here and close on top it's gonna still keep the records but if I had not committed the, this commit statement then it would have lost the records which I inserted if I close the session. So I need commit statements Make sure that the rest stays permanently in the database or the table even if I close and exit the command. If I do not commit and exit the session of Oracle, it's going to delete the records as if it never were inserted. Now, similarly, I'm going to insert all these records which I have pre-typed, save time for us. and. I am going to insert all of them. You can see all the records were inserted and I say commit. Commit is to write and I say select star from EMP and you can see the records, 14 records which were inserted all in the table. Let's create a department table. So I'll create a department table the same way as we created the EMP. Create table department DPT. The columns would be here. Okay, so there is an extra comma so I can. Let me table department is created and I say select star from DEPT and you say no right. I can describe the table DEPT and it will tell me the columns of the department table. Now let's insert 
some values in department. The same method, insert some records in the department table as we did. Insert department, department name, column name, department name and location as values IT, information technology and in India. Similarly, I have pre these statements. And I will commit. So these records were written into department table. So in the next session, in the next video, we would see how to query the tables from or query the records from the tables EMP and department. And also we will see how to create joins and filters. Till then, uh, have a good day and uh, you can contact me at Bharti DW Consultancy at dot com for free SQL handbook. DW Consultancy at gmail dot com. My phone number, use phone number is 562 Six six seven four six. Goodbye. Thank you.